Love them or hate them, the dudes from Jackass are a part of television history. The show first started on MTV and aired for three seasons between October 2000 and February 2002. It lived on in a series of movies, with the most recent, the fourth, being released in February of this year, and named Jackass Forever. Being 20 years old in the year 2000, I was the prime demographic for the show, and my friends and I lapped it up. To this day, it remains one of my favourite TV and movie franchises, not just for the absolute idiocy and hilarious comedy shown on screen, but the weird sort of brotherhood that the cast has, a bond that's kept almost all of them together down to the present day. One of the most recognisable stars from the group is Stephen Glover, best known as Steve-O. His autobiography is appropriately called Professional Idiot, a Memoir. Here's the blurb. Whether it was stapling his nutsack to his leg or diving into a pool full of elephant crap, almost nothing was out of bounds for Steve-O. As the stunts got crazier, his life kept pace. He developed a crippling addiction to drugs and alcohol and an obsession with his own celebrity that proved nearly as dangerous. Professional Idiot recounts the lunacy, the debauchery, the stunts, the drug addiction and the path to recovery with bravado, humour, and heart. From the get-go, this book is a hyperactive stream-of-consciousness confessional. Stevo stomps the accelerator and doesn't let up until the last chapter of the book. Contained within are some genuinely wild stories that several times had me thinking that it is quite simply a miracle that he's still alive. He certainly doesn't hold back and he really opens up sharing some very personal information about his relationship with his parents, his disastrous love life and his time at rock bottom. It was a captivating and by the end weirdly inspiring story. I've heard Steve-O referred to as a beloved lunatic and this book well and truly confirms that he is all of that and a whole lot more. 